What is going on guys and girls? Welcome back to TV and me. I'm of course Kevin and it's time again for The Walking Dead. We've thought about it. We want to make the trade. That's good. There's a large field with a sign that says God is dead about two miles down I-66. We'll meet you there. Ten minutes? Ten minutes. Oh, that was too easy. They killed everybody back home. They have the weapons. They know what they're doing. They're probably waiting to, to kill us as soon as we walk out those doors. That's what we do. No. Rick is a man of his word. He wouldn't put me and Maggie at risk to attack. Then he's just as stupid as you are. What's your ETA? Two minutes away. The car's running on fumes. We have gas. We'll fill you up and then we move. Radio when you're back in the perimeter. Fuck. Copy that. They're not gonna trade, are they? We'll shell out so she doesn't get stuck in a fight. We have to be ready to move at any second. What about the girl? Leave her for now. If we leave, we travel light. And if the pricks are here, we pick them off at the door. I tell you, Carol was so good at playing that character of a fragile person. I mean, I guess she's had years of practice with Ed. Oh, fuck's sake. Are you okay? I have to be. They spread out, but I think we can make it past them. We have to try. We can't leave them alive. No, we should just go. Carol, we have to finish this. We have to. She doesn't want to, does she? Oh, shit. Oh, he's bleeding out. He was already dead. Shit forgiven. Holy fuck, Maggie. Just run. Shoot her. Carol. Go on. Do it. Shoot in the foot. You've killed Donnie. You've killed Molly. Get out of here. Carol, you have no idea. The things I've done. What I've given up. What I had to do. Just run. Carol, shoot her. Go ahead. I've already lost everything. Oh, fuck. Molly? Oh, fuck. I'm oh, not the baby. Oh, 
and meet us on the kill floor. I think I might have killed 18 people. 20. Should have killed Donnie too in the woods. I had a clear shot. I didn't miss. None of this would have happened if I just killed him. Don't think about it. I can't stop. We're almost done. Slick. You sure that's it? She said kill for Hey, this one's locked. Why did they not turn around? Oh, fuck. Wow, I really don't know where to start this review. That episode was intense absolutely insane and i have to say i feel like the writers are starting to paint rick and the group as the bad guys or if not paint them as the bad guys they're trying to show us that there is a new level of acceptable behavior for rick and the group specifically rick i mean we saw carol do some stuff that was quite rough but we saw her suffering through it we saw her you know visibly shaken visibly upset at what she had to do giving characters chance after chance and you know but in the end she did what needed to be done whereas rick rick was in that moment again this episode where some guy just wouldn't tell him where he got a motorbike and rick executed him Don't get me wrong, I am a big Rick fan. I really enjoy the Rick character and I will, no matter what he does, I will always support him and be on his side. I mean, provided he doesn't go full crazy and start doing stuff which is totally unnecessary. But when he does this bad stuff, it's always against people who there's a question mark against, like these saviours. I mean, we've taught, been told they're bad people, but does that justify him executing that one man? it's so hard but like I say I'll always be behind Rick because I am biased towards him because I've seen the suffering he's gone through because I've seen the suffering the whole of team fam have gone through and I feel like they are my family in a weird kind of way I feel like I have to side with them through loyalty but like I say that doesn't stop me from questioning his actions questioning what he's doing and wondering if they've gone too far 
in the past few episodes and if they really need to make a change on the course they're heading. Moving away from Rick though and moving over to Carol because I really do feel like this episode was centred around her mainly and I really didn't know at the beginning of this episode whether Carol was playing a character like she did in Alexandria and whether she was pretending to hyperventilate, whether she was pretending to be religious. Like I say, I don't know whether that was a character or whether that was genuinely Carol. Because we all know, or we've seen in these last few episodes, that she is having a crisis of conscience. She's really struggling with the actions she has taken through taking lives, through scaring Sam silly, feeling guilt over that because that is ultimately what caused Sam to panic and get killed. You know, I feel like this is all weighing down on Carol's conscience. And I feel like, even though in the reaction I said that she's playing a character, I'm starting to feel like that was really her. We saw in this episode when that Paula character, I believe her name was Paula, she was coming towards her at the end there. Carol was telling her just to run away, get away. She was giving her every chance. But she wouldn't. She attacked her. Carol shot her. And, uh... You know, that other woman came around the corner, attacked Maggie, and Carol had to act like the Carol of old, put the gun against her head, pulled the trigger, and executed her. She slipped back into that action once again. And when she saw Rick do it, I think she realised how cold-blooded it was again. I mean, it's completely understandable what Carol is going through, because, you know, originally, before they were at Alexandria, they never had a break, they never had a return to normalcy. So Carol's actions were escalating. The way she was acting was escalating because she needed to survive. And, you know, that was the only way to survive. But once she settled back down in Alexandria, she returned to normality. Even though she was playing a character at the beginning, I feel like she did start to become Carol of old again. She became that mother figure, like um, Tobin said to her. And she even kissed Tobin, which I think also acted as sort of an anchor in Alexandria. It brought her back down to earth, to real life. And now she's had to go into situations where she's got to kill again. She doesn't want to. She doesn't want to be dead inside again. I feel like if Carol decides not to kill, even though we saw her kill again in this episode, despite not wanting to, she did it. She did what she had to do yet again. I feel like there's going to be a point where Carol decides, I can't do it anymore. I can't kill. And I really am afraid that that's going to ultimately cause her to get killed. I do have to say that, these saviors this time, not the ones that are in the encampment at that place, but these three particular, not the bloke, he came across as a bit of a dick and not a nice person, but these three women, all three of them came across as people just trying to survive, like Carol, like Maggie, like Glenn. I feel like not everyone involved with the saviors is a bad person. I think maybe they've just found a home and... The way they survive is by doing what Rick and the group are doing. Just doing what they need to do to get by. If it's violent, they do it. If they have to kill, they do it. And I feel like there is no black and white. I mean, it's not been like that for a long time. There is no right, there is no wrong. We've talked about it many times. And those lines are getting more and more blurred. Sometimes Rick is the bad guy, sometimes the saviors are the good guy, sometimes the saviors are the bad guy, sometimes Rick is the good guy. Those lines are crisscrossing and like I say, my bias is always going to kick in with Rick and I'm always going to side with him but it's tough. It's tough defending someone who does something like that, like that execution at the end but I guess the only thing I can say, as long as Team Fam survives, as long as the people I've grown to love, I've grown to know survive then... I guess you can justify a whole lot of evil. It seems like Rick is going further down that end of the scale where it's about murder and killing and Morgan, like I say, is on the other end of the scale where it's all about saving and redeeming. But we're never going to have that happy middle ground because the happy middle ground is always boring. You know, it'd be just a straightforward show with a bit of melodrama. There would be no extreme circumstances. There wouldn't be no moral dilemmas. It would all be happy valley and... We don't want that from a show. It's always going to be crazy. It's always going to make us question our own opinions. And that's what I love about The Walking Dead. So I can't wait for the next episode to find out if there is any repercussions from the saviors now. Because apparently they've killed two groups of saviors, Rick and a group. And no doubt because this Negan character, even though I thought Negan was a character, apparently he isn't. Because 
two people separately said we are all Negan. So maybe Negan isn't a person. Maybe Negan is a collective. And they just know each other. Like that's how they identify with each other. Say I am Negan, I am Negan. And that's some sort of secret handshake in a way to say, you know, we're part of the same group. I don't know. But uh, I guess we'll find out more going forward. So until next time, guys and girls, thank you for watching. I really appreciate it. And until then, bye bye. Thank you for watching this reaction with me. If you enjoyed the video, please leave a thumbs up because it helps me and it helps the channel grow. Also, if you've got any thoughts or feelings about the reaction I just did, leave it in the comment section below. But please, no spoilers. Also, if you'd like to support me even more than you do now, you can find me on Patreon, where you can take part in Patreon polls or even get early access to my videos. Link is in the description. And finally, if you want to keep up to date with the channel, you can find me on Twitter at TV and me reacts. Or you can subscribe.